some of the tools to do the rear brakes on a 2015 Nissan Sentra SR. Make sure you break the bolts before you raise the car and the wheel. Alright, remove the lug nuts and then just remove the wheel. And we'll go to the next step. Alright, so if you're just removing the pads, you only need to worry about these two bolts right here and down here. But I went ahead and sprayed the caliper mounting bolts here and then at the bottom because I need to remove the discs and replace them. All right, 14 millimeter. Break these off. Brake line is in the way of using the socket, so the caliper pin look pretty good. I bought some grease for them, I don't think I'll need them, but since I bought it, I might as well clean it off and do it. And uh, you can use a C clamp to uh, bottom the piston out. Uh, it's, it's not one of those corkscrew ones that you need an adapter for, so i help you get the caliper off easier. Too much left on those. They said two millimeters at the dealership. So I wanted two hundred dollars for it. Wear indicator was on the inboard side. Now I've got to get the rest off. You don't want the caliper hanging from here, so you don't want any pressure on that. Next step, remove the caliper mounting bolts on the back side. I believe they're 19 millimeter. They're 17. You can try an adjustable breaker bar, which I bought a long time ago, and it's a great investment for those tight fit areas. pretty good and next we're gonna remove the old clips clean up the surface area and uh, get it ready for the new hardware all right sure to clean your new rotors and taking the old rotor off may require some 
cajoling. Um, but given this car is only two years old, it doesn't need a hammer. As a matter of fact, what I'm doing this one hand with the camera and it still comes right off. So you can see the inner parking brake. It's like a drum brake upset. Works on the inside of the disc. So the parking brakes are separate from the disc brakes on the outside. All right, so you're gonna have to transfer this plug. That's why I had a little pick for. I'll do that. And I've got a brush to clean up the where I put in the new hardware kit onto the caliper. Uh, I've got some ceramic brake lube for where that goes. I've got some caliper lube for the caliper bolts and thread locker for the caliper mounting bolts. All right, let's get to work. I got these brake pads at Napa. They came with the kit. Obviously there's many different kinds. Just gonna match it up. It looks like it's one of these two. So I'll see which one fits. At the end of the day, I don't like reusing those. If I have to, I will. So, fair warning. Alright. So, I'm going to get these off. So, just a little clean, so it's got a smooth surface. Not really a lot of rust, so careful you don't wire brush your caliper bolt boot. You can take them off if you want. Okay, so now you just want to use the grease. But they're the right size to fit. And the one with this little clip, even though the factory ones don't have a clip, work. Well, maybe not. Obviously, I got the new disc on and replaced the plug. The plug, that's what I'm talking about.
Now the fun part. Let's put new pads in. They should pop right in very easily. Now because I didn't fully bottom the piston out, so I gotta press that down a little bit. Obviously the new pads are thicker, so I'm gonna do that real quick. You can use the old pads. Slides right in. Voila. Cut them off. If you have to get all the rust, it should look good. A little bit of I have to wiggle it, get in there. Make sure this boot, once you get it all tightened down, is covering it. So we'll double check that after we get it all threaded in. Tighten everything back up. Upper mounting should be much tighter. Caliper mounting brackets should be very tight. <laughs> That's an official torque specification. And if you're doing this exactly right, you should look all these up. But I don't have a manual, so. Okay, repeat on the other side. Our last tip, 83 foot-pounds for the wheels to go back on. Um, caliper mounting bolts, I did about 20. And uh, caliper bracket bolts, about 50. I'm not sure, I still haven't found a spec on those. Make sure you torque the wheels to about 83 foot-pounds. Yeah, about, you know, 83 is what the manual says, so. Be sure to torque them so you don't lose some lug nuts. And road test complete. Brakes are much firmer.